there, Magus Academy students. This is your headmaster, Professor Magus, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms. Last time, we defeated the evil book monster, Nagul, and we attained the water room. The water room? Man, we'd be drowning right now if we were in a water room. Well, unless we had oxygen tanks with snorkel stuff on. But, um, the water room is actually a piece of equipment. So, game? Um... Well, let's run away. Screw it. <laughs> Sometimes you can run away just okay, but, um... Water room is a piece of equipment. You can actually equip more of those pretty soon. So, actually, here's Jack and Rudy. How's it going? We heard about Lilithia. Now, this is probably one of the only times you will ever see Rudy talk. Or, huh. Um, generally, um, I think if you have Jack talk to Rudy, he'll say, Let me know if there's Avenger, okay? But over here, we're gonna do a tour of Edelheid a little bit later. This is, uh, Emma's room. Well, Emma's house. Uh, they were talking about Emma in the last episode before we left off. So, up over here... Is there something going on outside? How exciting! Listen to that commotion, I wonder what's happening. Alarm! There's been an exit in that Lilithia's tomb! Oh no! Tell me what's going on! We broke through a wall damaged by the earthquake and unleashed monsters! Some of the workers were injured by one of the monsters! Gather anyone with military experience! No way! No one here has ever fought monsters before! There's so many of them, you can be enough to go in there. Alright then, get to work on the repairs. You hear? I'll do something about the monsters. Okay. We have a minor problem in the ruins to the north. You can fight, can't you? I need to have some monsters slain, I'll pay 500 gala. You can also study Lilithia's tomb. You know what? Let's do it. But, um, you kind of have, um, swords and axes right up there, you know, um, you could go in and go full force. Anyway, so we need to bring friends, huh? Well, luckily, we might have friends over here. So you're looking for partners on your adventure? Which ones are you going to? I can help you if you're going to Lilithia's too north of Edelheid. Are you going? I too have an interest in those ruins. And someone's typing me on Twitter. Ooh. Okay. So. We have Jack. And up here, let's talk to Rudy. What is wrong with you people accusing poor Rudy? Leave Rudy alone! You're lucky that he saved that kid, you bastards! <laughs> okay, I'm done. Anyway, so, um, let's go ahead and rest up at the end over here. For just a cheap 30 gallop, that's pretty good. Now, there's a couple things that I want to do before leaving Edelheid. For instance, oh wait, I need to go downstairs, don't I? That would help a lot. <laughs> um, let's start exploring to the left. Over here is your items and armory shop. So, we can get heal berries if needed. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and get up to 15. Uh, no. Toy hammers? They, um, cure the forgetfulness status ailment. Oh, uh, that cures confusion, that cures paralysis. But anyway, most importantly, let's sell off what we, uh, the excess equipment that we got. Because, we 
you will see here momentarily. Now we have new weapons for everyone, and new armor. So let's go ahead and buy everybody equipment. Hey, we have barely enough to uh, get what we need. So let's go ahead and sell everybody's excess equipment again. It's a good idea to hold on onto these uh, excess equipment because you can just sell those for cheap. And you know, um, Gela can be very scarce in Filgaia. So um, just one thing to keep in mind. Okay, enough of that let's head over here which is the magical we don't have any uh, crest graphs over here up in here is just an empty house but we do find a heel berry in here which is pretty nice Ooh, a journal I can't read it oh well what if had to do with Ansem's reports who knows okay and right there's the church you can heal your status ailments for free by talking to a priest or a nun and right here is the, um, royal grave, if I remember right. And then right there's a grave for the common people for Rich of the Warlock to blow up eventually. <laughs> no. No. But over here, remember this name for later. Zeldux. He is a deity of sorts. He, um... Guardians are basically the gods of the world. So, right over here is a hospital, and um, let's see what this guy has to say. They had it coming, they had it coming, they only had themselves to blame. Do 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 do, do 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 do. I suppose that I'll use a bomb and get a heal berry and a magic carrot. <laughs> I haven't seen Chicago in forever. <laughs> I can talk today. So in here we get a hearty apple and a power apple. And then up over here is some treasure. So let's go ahead and grab that piece of treasure for a heat saw. Yeah, it's okay for what it was worth. So to the right over here is a festival. Um, we're going to be going to the festival a little bit later. Right in here is Seven Gala. And there's nothing else in that barrel. I wouldn't be too concerned. You know, we, we're going to be basically crowd controlling that tomb. Over here's a pub where we can get information. Like in all RPGs and... Tabletop games like Dungeons and Dragons. Hmm. We'll keep that in mind for later. So, that is basically the tour of the whole town. But let's head up north to the castle. But just in case. Okay, ready when I'm there. Over here is the Edelheid Castle. So let's go ahead and switch to uh, Cecilia. And here is the king. Sorry, please wait a moment. No, it can't be. Shh, I'm back, father. No one recognizes me. It's fun to be anonymous. You don't mind, do you? Why are you back so early? The festival isn't open yet. I have my reasons, and I don't particularly want everyone making a big deal. You've never liked crowds, I remember that. It's been ten years. Look how you've grown. You look just like your mother. Let me remain anonymous until the start of the festival. Yeah, sure you're sorry. You just wanted to say hi to Pappy. Now, up over here, um, keep this in mind for later. 
because you're going to need a special item called the duplicator. So duplicators are special keys. That's right, we don't have keyblades. So deal with it. <laughs> um, is there any hidden treasure? No. But down over here, we get a moonstone. Speaking of which, I still have my moonstone in my Pokemon Fire Red playthrough. Which I'm going to use on Nidorino to make Nido King. And then Nido King will be ultimately my ground type user. So, um, yeah. But what moonstones do. Let's see. They nullify the poison status ailment. You can equip them to anyone you want. But, um,. I wouldn't recommend equipping those kind of things because, um, they become a little obsolete later in the game, so I wouldn't worry too much. Now, what's up in here? We got beds that we cannot use, unfortunately. Um, I want to go ahead and... Let's see... No treasure? Aha! And we get our next Crest Graph. I'm going to go ahead and use that Crest Graph a little bit later. So, once we head back down to the town, we will go ahead and do so. Um, actually, what's down here? Okay, so that leads back to the throne room. Honestly, I like this castle. It's so free in the sense of you can dash like wherever you want. You know, um, what would have been cool in a uh, Ocarina of Time is if you could explore the whole castle. You know, I think it would be cool to take a look at the uh, interior. Of course, there's Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, but Hyrule Castle is the final dungeon of Twilight Princess. Actually, I've been thinking about LPing that for quite a long time. Considering that uh, Twilight Princess is one of my all-time favorite Zelda games. My number one being The Wind Waker. Just in case you guys want to make a little, um, fan game viewers if you want to do, like, some sort of impossible Magus quiz. Okay, so we are done here in the castle. So let's go ahead and go back to town and make that, um, press graph a good use. Okay, so, ouch, excuse me. If I remember it, it is over to the left. Okay, so, let's go ahead and get our next black magic spell. Let's see. Spiritual attack, prevent magic use, wind attack, thunder, water, pretty sure there's a, there was an ice spell. Let's see what this does. Aha! I was right! I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> because, um, in Final Fantasy X, if you guys remember right, water and ice magic were their own separate attributes. So that's what really threw me off. So, it's like, wait a minute. Isn't that supposed to be this? <laughs> anyway, um, let's go ahead and head up north. But just to be sure we are good on equipment, we will be getting left-handed equipment for Rudy and Cecilia hopefully soon, so never mind that for now. So let's go ahead and head up north, which is where Lilithia's tomb is. Not too far.
So, I guess we're here to help out Emma. So, up to the left, we have a heal berry, a potion berry, and a heal berry. So, potion berries, they heal 1,000 hit points. So, I want to go ahead and put all my apples at the very bottom. Just because it's going to make organization a little bit easier. So we'll go ahead and mess around with that. So, um, I'll figure out what items I'm going to be using on who later. Don't worry about, about it right now. So, let's go ahead and head over to the right. How's it going? Okay, we'll keep that in mind, so um, I will show the method to deal with um, those exploding chests a little bit later. So up over here, we just gotta head around. And if you talk to this guy, ha <laughs> ha! Emma. Three of you together can probably break the seal. Past your room with the spooky demon statue lies a... What is it? Hmm? It's something bad, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's something bad. If the three of you work together, you should be okay. You'll be fine. With confidence, one can even learn to fly. Yeah, I like to see that happen. I like to see pigs fly first. But over here we get a buckler, which is for Rudy. Um, never mind that pillar for now, we can't access it. Nor that treasure chest. Even if we try to use Ham Ham from the, uh, from the corner. See? Inaccessible. So, the best option is to go down, and... Thanks! Gonna kill some monsters! So, this is basically our first true dungeon. The minor stuff that we had to deal with, those were just tutorials. So, we have to deal with uh, the switch right here. Luckily, ta-da! Now, First off, we have new enemies, the Aplos and the Rat Monkeys. Get rid of the Aplos first, because they can drain your MP. Um, with an attack called Mind, Mind Blow or something like that. So, Rudy and, Sus uh, Rudy and Jack can take them out with ease. So, if we get counterattacks, that'd be fantastic. Um... I will be showing off new enemies, other than that there are some repetitive enemies, so I will be cutting all battles if there are no new enemies, as par to RPGs. And you die. And I have a feeling we're going to get a ton of Gela in here. So anyway, as I was saying, um, there's the exploding chest that one guy was talking about. So what we do is we get hand pan, and that's how we deal with it. That's how we do it on the Magus Academy. So you know what? I feel lazy. I'm just gonna have hand pan get my treasure for the meantime. But um, let's go ahead and use our bombs and the switch over here, we can now access back to the beginning. So, I want to go ahead and move that. Okay, we're back, and, uh-oh, uh-oh. If you open a treasure chest like that by yourself, then it will hurt you. So, just please be careful. <laughs> I don't want you guys losing your hit points and wasting your heal berries. Like, I may have to. Okay, we are back once more, and we got, um, some repetitive equipment. Sellable, of course. So, anyway, let us continue our adventure uh, through Lilithia's tomb. 
and we have our first major puzzle. So, if we go to the left, we cannot access this treasure chest, nor can we go... Okay, so everybody leveled up. Um, what I did actually was I got everybody up to level 4 so they can level up all at the same time together. So, um, because there was one thing that I didn't like about Wild Arms, and it was the unbalancing of levels between all three characters, and that made things a little bit difficult. So, um, we had to blow up that, um, block over there. We're gonna have to blow the, uh, block to our left a little bit later, and we get a revive fruit, which is basically our phoenix down. Game? Why must you do this, game? We must kill all pill bugs. They all must die. Okay, so that one runs away, and that one runs away too. Okay, don't care. Of course I do care about the experience in Gela, but um... Pill bugs really don't give much experience. Even though every little bit of experience helps, it's just... eh. So let's go ahead and blow this up. And down here, we have another rock to blow up. But what I want to do is I want to try to find every single rock that I can find in... GAME! I'm getting annoyed! Alright, so we found all the rocks that we can blow up. And down over here, we can blow this guy up. But, I want to head over to the left, then switch to Jack. There is a reason why I did this, because if I press the switch right there and then, I would have to reset the whole puzzle, and that would have been no good. So now we can access uh, that treasure chest that we couldn't access before. And, uh, yeah. You know, if the game stopped interrupting me, that would be really, really appreciated. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and head up here. And we have access to a new room. But, this is all the time that I'm going to have for today's video. So, if you did enjoy today's video, please leave a thumbs up, leave comments in the comment section below, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Player.me, and if you guys are new to my channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and join the Baggus Academy. What danger lies, lies beyond the door? Find out next time on Let's Play Wild Arms. This is your headmaster, Professor Magus, signing off, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.